How to forgive. It's important to clarify that the goal is not to overcome forgiveness, but rather to overcome obstacles or barriers to forgiveness. It's generally seen as a positive and healthy process that can benefit individuals. However, forgiving someone who has wronged you can be challenging. Here are steps to help you overcome obstacles to forgiveness. Acknowledge your feelings. Start by acknowledging and accepting your feelings of anger, hurt, or resentment. It's normal to have these emotions when you've been wronged. Recognizing them is the first step towards healing. Understand the benefits. Educate yourself about the benefits of forgiveness. Recognize that forgiveness is not about condoning or excusing the wrongdoing but about freeing yourself from the burden of negative emotions. Guys, try to see the situation from the perspective of the person who wronged you. Understanding their motivations or circumstances can humanize them and make forgiveness easier. Reflect on your own faults. Reflect on your own imperfections and times when you may have needed forgiveness. This can create empathy and make it easier to extend forgiveness to others. Communicate. If possible, have an open and honest conversation with the person who hurt you. This can help clarify misunderstandings and facilitate the process of forgiveness. Set boundaries. Forgiveness doesn't always mean re-establishing a relationship with the person who wronged you, especially if it's toxic or harmful. You can forgive and still set healthy boundaries to protect yourself. Practice self-compassion. Be kind and compassionate toward yourself. Self-forgiveness is an important part of the process. Forgive yourself for any guilt or blame you may feel about the situation. Let go of resentment. Forgiveness may not happen overnight. It's a process, but through prayer and seeking God, you might find yourself gradually releasing the negative emotions and start working towards forgiveness. Consider the bigger picture. Think about the long-term impact of holding on to resentment. Is it harming your emotional well-being and relationships? This perspective may motivate you to forgive. Write a forgiveness letter. Consider writing a letter to the person who hurt you, even if you never intend to send it. Express your feelings, forgive them in the letter, and then decide whether you want to share it or keep it as a personal exercise. Remember that forgiveness is a personal journey. It may not always result in reconciliation with the person who wronged you. Unless the Lord chooses to make that happen as He knows what's best, it is primarily about finding inner peace and letting go of the emotional burden that comes with holding on to resentment. Just know that God can help you overcome obstacles to forgiveness. It takes time and self-compassion, and it's a process that can lead to emotional healing and growth. Jesus faced the same issues that's why he knows how we feel and can help us. Here's a few scriptures for reference. John chapter 13 verse 20, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he who receives whomsoever I send receives me. In effect, says that we might be hated and betrayed as he the master was, yet like him our mission is divine, and he who receives me receives him who sent me proclaims the fact that acceptance or rejection reaches all the way to the throne of God. John chapter 13 verse 21, when Jesus had thus said, he was troubled in spirit, proclaims a strong expression used of the sorrows of Christ, and testified, and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me, proclaims Jesus saying plainly that which he had previously hinted. Did you catch that? Jesus was troubled in spirit from the hurt of a person therefore he clearly can feel our sorrow and tells us what to do. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 31. Let all bitterness, and wrath, and anger, and clamor, and evil speaking, be put away from you, with all malice, as the believer puts his faith in the cross and keeps his faith in the cross, giving the Holy Spirit latitude to work these evil things can then be put away from our lives. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 And be you kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, be quick to forgive, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you.
Christ's forgiveness of us is to always be the basis of our forgiveness of others. Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, Forbearing one another, exhibiting patience, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. Colossians chapter 3 verse 14, And above all these things put on charity, love, which is the bond of perfectness, complete growth. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, sanctifying peace, to the which also you are called in one body, the church, and be ye thankful, show oneself thankful. We can ask God for His help, with forgiveness. John chapter 14 verse 14, If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it, refers to that which is in harmony with His character and will. So, what's God's will? 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper, refers to financial prosperity, and should be the case for every believer, and be in health, speaks of physical prosperity, even as your soul prospers, speaks of spiritual prosperity, so we have here the whole gospel for the whole man. Psalm chapter 37 verses 4 to 5. For delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart, what a promise. 5. Commit your way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Love for enemies. Luke chapter 6 verse 28. Bless them who curse you, speak well of, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Pray that they will see God's way. Love for enemies. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 21. If your enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. Love for enemies. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 22. For you shall heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward you. This was quoted by the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 12 verse 20. As fire melts the hardest metal, so love melts the hardest heart. Wow. So, how can forgiveness benefit you? Forgiveness can have profound spiritual benefits. Alignment with spiritual values. Forgiveness aligns with spiritual and moral principles. It reflects values such as compassion, mercy, love, and the golden rule, treating others as you wish to be treated. Embracing forgiveness helps individuals live in accordance with these principles. Closer connection to God. Forgiveness can lead to a deeper sense of connection with God. Many people believe that forgiveness is a sacred act, and by forgiving, they draw closer to their spiritual beliefs and feel more spiritually attuned. Spiritual renewal. Forgiveness is often associated with a sense of spiritual renewal and purification. It can symbolize a fresh start and the cleansing of one's spirit from negative emotions and past transgressions. Enhanced Compassion and Empathy Forgiveness cultivates compassion and empathy for others, which are essential qualities in our walk with the Lord. It encourages individuals to see the humanity in others, even those who have wronged them, and to extend love and understanding. Release of Negativity When individuals forgive, they release a negative heaviness, resentment, and anger that may be blocking their spiritual growth. This release allows them to experience a sense of lightness and clarity in their spiritual journey. Peace and Serenity Forgiveness often leads to inner peace and serenity. This inner peace can create a conducive environment for spiritual practices such as meditation on God's Word and prayer to connect more deeply with the Lord. Healing of the soul. In spiritual contexts, forgiveness is a way to heal the soul. By letting go of grudges and negative emotions, individuals can experience a sense of wholeness and spiritual healing. How do you overcome obstacles or barriers to forgiveness? Jesus is the answer. Yes. Amen. Jesus is the healer of your heart. 
In summary, forgiveness can deeply enrich your spiritual life by promoting alignment in God's Word and encouraging qualities such as compassion, empathy, and inner peace. It is a transformative and sacred practice that can help individuals on their spiritual journey toward greater understanding, love, and enlightenment. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you, seeking your guidance and strength to forgive those who have wronged me. I acknowledge the heaviness in my heart and the pain that I have carried due to the hurts and transgressions I have experienced. Lord, please, grant me the power to release the burden of resentment and anger that has held me captive. Help me to let go of the need for retribution and vindication. Instead, fill my heart with your love and compassion, and allow me to see the humanity in those who have hurt me. Grant me the wisdom to understand that forgiveness is a gift I give to myself as much as to others. Help me to find the strength to move beyond the pain and hurt, and to offer the gift of forgiveness as a source of healing and reconciliation. Guide me on the path of forgiveness, where I can find peace and freedom from the weight of unforgiveness. Help me to remember that in forgiving, I am aligning with your divine example of love and mercy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. John chapter 3 verse 16. Remember, for God so loved the world, presents the God kind of love, that he gave his only begotten son, gave him up to the cross, for that's what it took to redeem humanity, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Please support this channel by subscribing so we can provide more videos to encourage the body of Christ. Don't forget to share and pray for others. Thank you and God bless.